Hello and welcome to another episode of this FIFA 16 career mode with Manchester United. This week we're going to play CSKA Moscow in I think the third or fourth game of the Champions League or Champions Cup group stage. Now unfortunately I did miss the first half again so that hasn't been recorded. As you can see it's 2-1 to Manchester United at the moment. I did get the second half but for some reason I think I've either deleted it by mistake or not recorded it. So, apologies for that. Accidentally, I haven't got the first half again. Happened in a, a video a few videos back. But you will see the goals in the uh, the highlights at the end. So, it's not that great of a loss, really. You will see the goals when the match is finished. I've had to put my main team out. As you see there, we've got West Bromwich Albion in the Premier League. Next fixture, next game in the Premier League is West Brom at home. This was actually a really good match. I'm quite disappointed that I didn't get the first half in. It was actually end-to-end, -end, really good match. So yeah, it was actually a decent game, This so it's quite disappointing to not be able to show the first half. The second half was the better half though. We could have scored a fair few goals. That could have been a goal. We could have put this game beyond any doubt. We need to win this one as well to uh, top the group because CSK and Moscow are the group leaders. And we've only got one win and two draws so far in this group stage. So if we win this, I can I can afford to rest my players and bring out other players for the for the, for the last two fixtures in the group stage. Which is what I want to do. I want to qualify first, and I want to be able to rest players, knowing that we're already qualified. So if we. If this stays the way it is, then we'll be able to play some younger players in the last two fixtures, which is good. And also, they're at home as well, because we played our away fixtures. Well, the first two games were both away in against Benfica and CSK in Moscow. They were both away games first. We played Celtic at home and we beat Celtic 1-0. Not sure what happened there, the colour went a bit weird. So it is, it is pretty good game this, end to end, CSK, Moscow creating some chances, we're creating a few chances. But I'm, I've gone counter attack because if it stays like this we're, uh, we're going to top the group. <sighs> Martial could have made it beyond any doubt there. Striking tries to that he scored a goal in the first half from there so he tried again to tried his luck again there you'll you'll see his goal in, from the first half i'm not sure what that free kick was for to be honest i couldn't see anything in that you have to rewind that and tell me what he did wrong because that d did not look like a free kick to me put a man on the post because this looks like it could go in there oh that that was deserving of a goal it's a free header that the free kick alone was deserving of a goal but it's a free header for Zoran Tosic he used to play for Manchester United he's equalized in the last few minutes of the game that deserved a goal that didn't I'm not sure what Luke Shaw's doing there he's just staring at him while he gets a free header Luke Shaw's let us down there. I'm not sure where the rest of my defence is. There's no defenders in there. Fellaini, Rooney and Memphis were in the box, but no defenders other than Luke Shaw. And Luke Shaw wasn't doing anything. Oh, they'd be in the wall, wouldn't they, I suppose. And they'd be in the wall. But I'd have my defenders defending and my, my midfielders in the wall, ideally, because the defenders are more, more experienced and able to defend. <laughs> Hence why they're defenders. 
I'd have Fellaini in a wall. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? FIFA should be able to uh, do football manager and like customise where you want players to be to defend set pieces and stuff. That'd be a good idea, FIFA. If you're listening to the sort it out. As well as setting a voice captain would be nice as well. That should have been free to there. I'm not sure what happened there. I think the defender got the ball away somehow. That their goal though, it shouldn't have been a free kick. They shouldn't have had that free kick. I don't think my player even touched him. They gave him a free kick. Sometimes the game's fixed. It really is. And I'm not just saying that to be bitter, but I don't think that was a free kick. Watch the video back. Watch the replays and everything. There's nothing in it. Absolutely nothing in it. Nevertheless, it's 2-2. Two -two, so, we've, uh, we've still got to play and try and get points in the last two fixtures if we want to qualify. He does it wrong as well because in real life you play two games then you play so we would have played Benfica, we would have played Moscow, we would have played Celtic and then we'd play Celtic again and then we'd play the other two fixtures. In this it does, does it differently. Well, we played Celtic in the last game in Champions Cup and then we're playing CSK in Moscow so this would be Celtic away instead of CSK in Moscow at home so that's they've done that wrong as well here are the highlights from the first half which we didn't record but that's a free kick that's, that could have been a goal if he would have put it into the corner Rooney It's another chance that's a bit better, but hits the post. And that's Schneiderlin's goal. He falls over whilst taking it, which is quite funny. That's his first goal as well, I think, for us, especially in the Champions Cup. Falls over, no one's celebrating with him. That's the first goal from outside the box as well, I think. We just decided to have a go. That's their equaliser. It came straight after our goal as well, as you'd expect, because they make it impossible sometimes. And that's really goal. He had three chances at that scoring in that corner. <laughs> three shots, and he finally gets a goal from it. Ashley Young has a shot saved from Akinfeyev, not quite in the far corner, but close enough. It's decent effort. Akinfeyev's a good goalkeeper though. Marshall has a similar shot. A bit closer in but also too close to the goalkeeper. So we could have been like 5-1 up here. 5-1. It's not the end of the world though. We still, we've still got a chance of qualifying. And that's the free header equalises in the 87th minute. And Zoran Tosic, who used to play for us, he played like five games for us before he was sold on. He gets the last uh, the last say in this game. Look at that, 11 shots, 9 on target to 3 and 3 on target. We had 3 shots on target and they scored twice. We actually had more possession as well for a change. That That rarely happens. I rarely get more possession. And we actually had a few, quite a few good chances as well. We should have won that game really. But Moscow put away their chances. So you can't knock them for that. That's why they're top of the group as well. So we've, we haven't beat Moscow. We drew in Russia as well. We haven't beat CSKA. We drew in Moscow and we've drawn at Old Trafford as well. And if it was in the knockout stages, they would have gone for an away goals because they scored two at Old Trafford. So we've got to watch that when we get to the knockout stages. I'm sure we will qualify. West Brom, we're just jumping straight into the next game. This is West Bromwich Albion, a home game in the Premier League. Don't care about the commentators, I'll never hear them. 
I'll turn them off because they're annoying and repetitive and they always talk about stuff that aren't, is relevant to the football like transfer targets when when I haven't actually signed in on this season yet I will be signing players in the January transfer window though just to shake things up a bit for the last uh, the last stretch the business end of the season as they call it also I'm pumped for the FA Cup final today Manchester United against Crystal Palace in the FA Cup we should win our 12th FA Cup equaling Arsenal's record and on this day in 1977 we beat Liverpool in the FA Cup final 2-1 which is always good so odds are and chances are that we will win the FA Cup today I really hope that we do because even though it's Crystal Palace they could still cause an upset for us we don't write anybody, any team off in a cup final and I don't know, I don't know what Shaw was doing there he should have left, let it go out instead of heading it back across goal like that put us in real danger there should have just let it out, let it go out someone should have given him a call to let it go instead he headed it back across the goal Luke Shaw's point, he, he was one well, responsible for the equaliser as well that's a good save he sh it run oh it wasn't a save, he missed I thought the higher save that Rondon actually caused me a lot of problems in this game I'm not sure what that was for either to be honest some inconspicu inconspicuous free kicks going on is that the right word? suspicious, suspect free kicks inconspicuous is when you're like trying to not trying to blend in with the crowd isn't it? like spies Chester, Sessegon, man and man I like West Brom to be fair, they do play good football I grew up near West Brom as well West Bromwich, I grew up in Warsaw which isn't too far away in the Black Country which is near Birmingham it's not a part of Birmingham, the Black Country is different you've got West Brom, you've got Wolves, you've got Warsaw, you've got Coventry kind of the Black Country so I'm not Brummie I'm from Warsaw and West Brom are nearby and they're the only Premier League team that the Midlands has got at the moment as Villa have been relegated next season West Brom will be the only West Midlands team in the Premier League the Championship have got uh, well Nottingham Forest is technically Midlands I think I think I don't know if it's West Midlands or East Midlands I'm not sure but oh, that's a good goal, Marshall squeezed one in at the far post. It's a counter attack as well. They was just up the other end. We've got up the other end and score. They they nearly scored the other end just then. Yanazai with the cross. Not a bad cross. Anthony Marshall gets one in. Just in front of their defender. That's close. That is. He's not got a lot to aim for there either. Memphis and Marshall, they, them two have been really good. I've rested Rooney for this game, I think. And I've put Depay in the attacking midfield role behind Anthony Marshall. And every time I've... Oh no, there's Rooney. But every time I've put Depay and Marshall together up front like that, in attacking midfield and up front, they've worked really well together. So I might consider keep doing that in future games. One matter as well. Under Herrera. Martial. I usually like Ander Herrera as well. I mean, he usually does well for me, and I like him in real life as well. But Van Hal's not really using him a lot. He's usually for using Fellaini a lot for some reason. I haven't seen the team for the FA Cup final today, so, but I'm going to have a look at that in a minute. Luke Shaw. Adnan Yanazai. Was that a handball? Oh, I was giving a penalty. What was that for? No idea what that was for either. I'm going to have to go back and check that out as well. I'm not sure what's going on with these refereeing decisions.
Oh, straight down the middle. Ricky Lambert, former Liverpool man. He's about 85 years old now. Yeah, where's Butler? Where's your Butler, Lambert? Lambert and Butler. It's a sorting penalty. The Hayes could have just stood there and saved that. When when you need them to dive, they don't dive. But when the, you don't need them to dive, they tend to dive. I'm no good at penalties with saving them or scoring them. He just dived out the way there, but when you press dive to the right and it goes in the right and he d the goalkeeper just stands there. I think it's programmed to allow some teams to score against you half the time. Have free kicks and penalties that are really, really weird, really dodgy. Yanis I can he put one in again? No, he's blocked by it. And Boa? I don't know, I don't know who that is. Matter, that's a poor corner to be fair. It's just about to become half time as well. And that's half time. I'm gonna go back. Alright, so I just went back and checked the video footage to, and uh, it looked like it was given for a handball against Yanazai as he was clearing the ball. It did look like handball to be honest. It could have been given against Luke Shaw. I think Blind might have. Uh, to ham handled it or Yanazai between the three of them there was a handball in there so it was a penalty yeah. having seen it again I retract my earlier statement it was a, it was a penalty I think Yanazai as he was running out of the box with the ball it bounced up and hit him in the arm there's a yellow card for Rondon Salomon Rondon That's early in the second half, McLean Isn't that a toothpaste? Pretty sure McLean's a toothpaste I bought Carrick on as well just to try and confirm midfield. He controls the midfield but he's not been used a lot this season I've had. That looked like a good tackle to me. A red card. That never looked like a red card. This referee's on an anti United vendetta or something. Looks like a decent tackle that looked like a foul but it didn't look like a red card maybe a yellow card at most that does not look like a sending off a straight red that does not look like a sending off to me you guys might think differently but it does look like he catches the man before he gets the ball which is a foul fair enough so it should have been a yellow card but a red card when he actually went for the ball it wasn't from behind actually it might have been a bit from behind but it looks like he got the ball from the side to me I don't think that would have been a red card. That's not a bad ball in. Oh, he's offside. Anyway, really should be scoring those, offside or not. So we're playing with a man down. They've had a penalty. Had a man sent off. They've had a penalty. It's one-one. And what the hell was that? Berhino just tried to in impeccable overhead kick and completely air shotted it, missed the ball. L2 circle. When I was playing football, I know a guy that used to just shoot L2 circle whenever the ball was crossed into the box. It's quite funny. It's given a foul for that as well. Rooney, Martial, can they get through here? No, Olsen. I don't know if that's Martin Olsen or the other one. I don't know, they're like brothers or twins or something. I don't know if they both still play for West Brom either. I'm surprised Darren Fletcher's not playing, because West Brom have got Darren Fletcher, Johnny Evans, former United players, Darren Fletcher and West... Uh, Darren Fletcher, 
and Johnny Evans, both former United players. Also Ben Foster, but that was a bit further back ago. Ben Foster, I think I still think he's a brilliant goalkeeper. Ben Foster. We let him go because we had at the time we had Tom Kushak and Edwin Van der Sar, obviously. So we've also let Kushak go. I think he's playing for a Championship team now as well. Kushak, the polling goal, Polish goalkeeper. Was it Sadie Berahino that wanted to leave on the last day but couldn't? I know it was the West Brom. Oh no, that was Odem Wingy. Get confused there. Uh, Odem Wingy. Odem Chicken Wingies. Suarez. Menu. Odem Chicken Wingies. I don't know where he is now, Oliver. That's full time. West Brom 1. No, Manchester United 1, West Brom 1. So that's another draw. There's two draws in a row, both in the Champions Cup and Premier League. Probably should have won that game. We had more chances. We're not putting enough chances away. Ricky Lambert with a penalty. A penalty and a sending off cost us. But as I said, it was a penalty. That was a fair penalty. In the end, after watching it back, it was a fair penalty. I'm not too sure about the sending off still. don't think he should have been a straight red. We'll never know now if that would have impacted the game, but I think we could have won that game 2-1 if Blind had stayed on the pitch. And that's my first red card as well. Because I've normally got... I normally have good discipline on these games, but that's the first sending off. It's the first red card. I normally, I'm, on, I'm normally a stickler for not getting red cards. It's very rare that I do get sent, players sent off. It's a good save by De Gea. Just looking over a few of the highlights now. That is a great goal. And Foster had absolutely no chance. Just passed him before he even reacted. From like three yards out there, so. This is a penalty again. Oh, it's so close to just hitting him in the shoulder as well. He just dived down and out of the way of it. Ricky Lambert. A former Liverpool man. Brought in to replace Suarez. With that, uh, with that Suarez money. Rondon gets a yellow card for a tackle that looks worse than this one I think. See, he does get the ball, and it is kind of from behind, but is I think it's more from the side. And he gets the ball, makes an attempt to win the ball. It should be a yellow card, that. He does catch the man before he gets the ball, but it is an attempt to win the ball. And he does get a foot on the ball as well. Uh, the shots are equal, both on target and shots. But they had a lot more possession, mind you. They were playing for 10 men for a lot of the second half. They were playing against 10 men for a lot of the second half, I should say. Daily blind. <sighs> he's not growing any OVR. He normally, he's normally like 81, 82 by now. Mind you, I'm not training him really. I'm training the younger players at the moment. So that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Take care and hopefully see you in the next one. Goodbye.